Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Tyler Merkovich, alongside the czar of playbook, Emery Hunt. We're bringing you an ACC matchup. Not quite the matchup in football as it is in basketball, but Duke travels to Chapel Hill to take on the North Carolina Tar Heels. And guess what, Duke fans? If the Blue Devils win this game, it could come down to a matchup next week of Georgia Tech to decide the Coastal Division in the ACC. They're playing great with Cutcliffe uh, running the show. That Thaddeus Lewis, their quarterback, they beat Virginia. What are your keys to victory, though, for the Blue Devils to pull off this rivalry game? Well, keys to victory for Duke, they have to. They the defense cannot let Yates of North Carolina get in the rhythm because if they get that pass game going for North Carolina, they can prove to be dangerous for Duke. So the defense cannot allow Yates to get his feet under him and get his arm ready and start throwing the ball all around the field. Two. You look at what Duke does well, Duke can throw the football, but that O-line has some leakage, so they have to show up that O-line this week to make sure, because North Carolina has a tremendous defense. They can come after the quarterback, so the O-line can't have any holes this week. And third, they have to finish. This game is always close. The last three matchups have all been close. Duke has to learn to finish the game against North Carolina, especially with the big ramifications that are involved in this matchup. And you know what, Butch Davis' teams are all about all about defense, defensive linemen, led by Marvin Austin, who was a great one, but their offense was making plays against Virginia Tech to pull off that huge upset in Blacksburg. Yates was connected with Greg Little. They found a little a niche to, you know, move the wide receiver to running back and run the ball. They like to run the ball with Drown and the big guy Ryan Houston. But what are your keys to victory for Butch Davis here? How could they keep that defense rolling against a good Duke offense. Well, keys to victory for North Carolina, they have to keep Thaddeus Lewis out of the pocket because Thaddeus Lewis doesn't want to throw on the run. He wants to sit back there, scan the defense, and pick apart that Tar Heels defense. So they have to keep him on the move, flush him out the pocket. That's where he's weakest. That's number one. Two, those running backs, Drones and Houston, are going to have to play big time ball this week because they're going to have the passing game struggling so that running game is going to have to take a little bit more of ownership this week and have to help these guys out to keep the chains moving. And third, they want to play with their eyes defensively. They run a lot of spread offense, uh, the spread offense, not with really a lot of read option, but a lot of passing out the spread, a lot of four wide receiver sets. So you want to play with your eyes defensively. Don't bite on play face. Do not keep your eyes out of the backfield. Guard your receiver. Stay with him. Play the, play the defense that is called. I like Duke in this game. I think Duke is on a roll. Duke is going to come in and finish this game. And I have to take that as Lewis over TJ Yates. I'm going to go with North Carolina. They're going to get field goals if they can't get touchdowns with their good field goal kicker, Barth. And they have enough playmakers on offense. That defense is going to stifle the Blue Devils. I like the Tar Heels in this game. This is going to be a really good matchup, especially with basketball season is already underway. For more, visit footballgameplan.com slash NCAA.